2020 Jeep Wrangler JL unlimited four-door version Sahara trip. Hey guys, welcome to the Auto 101. Look at what we're reviewing today, a 2020 Jeep Wrangler four-door, which is the unlimited model in Sahara Trail. And I'm not gonna do a normal review where we talk about the exterior, interior, fuel economy, all that stuff. I'm just gonna do a review to see if this car is cool or not. And let me tell you right now, conclusion right now, this car is cool. So if you don't wanna watch the rest of the video, you forgot your conclusion right here. I'm, I'm playing, don't actually stay tuned for the video. I'll tell you why it's cool, some cool things and some things that aren't cool. So let's, uh, let's dive in. So the Jeep Wrangler has in some form been produced since the 1940s. And what Chrysler really did with this last generation Jeep Chrysler, the JL, which came out in 2018, is they really upped the refinement of the powertrains, which is the first cool thing about this car. So let's take a look at the, uh, the powertrain options here. And honestly, they're quite nice. The first engine is a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. Now this engine has 270 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque but the main draw of this engine is that it's supposed to be more fuel efficient. I don't really know if anyone cares about fuel efficiency when they're in a, in a Jeep. I mean, this is an off-road vehicle, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, also, I did not get a chance to drive that two liter four cylinder, so I can't really speak on it. This, this particular model has the 3.6 liter Pentastar V6, which has 285 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. And I could tell you, this car feels a lot more powerful than that number suggests. I thought going into it, you know, sub 300 horsepower, boxy shape, big car, it wouldn't feel super fast. But let me tell you, it really, really feels fast. And I haven't, I haven't done any off-roading. I wasn't given the chance to off-road in this car. But I drove on a few dirt roads and the torque seemed like it was doing a good job. So I've, I can imagine based on the other videos I've seen that that engine does a good job when you're off road. For the first time in the North American market, um, a diesel, a three liter diesel V6, which is actually different than the diesel that they sold in Europe. So I can't really speak on either of those engines, but I do think it's super cool that this car comes with a diesel. So that's cool point number one, powertrain. Another cool thing about this car, there's a bunch of little hidden Jeeps slash like Jeep insignia. So right here, where is it? All four wheels come with this Jeep icon. Pretty sweet. Every single headlight, whether it's halogen bulbs or the LEDs, the inside looks like a Jeep. Nice work. Right here, in the bottom left, bottom right, I guess it depends where you are. But this bottom side of the windshield also has a little mini Jeep. Lastly, the gear lever, first of all, looks pretty cool. It's like red. It looks, looks off-roady. But look what's in the middle. Oh, can you see that? It's another Jeep icon. Okay, the next cool thing is that you can pretty much deconstruct this car. Look, the roof comes off here. This part of the roof comes off too. You could drop the front windshield down and take all four doors off. Okay, how long does it take to remove the metal roof? Let's see. Just undo those clips and you have one piece off. I'm just gonna leave it here because truth be told, there's nowhere to really put this piece. Unless I go all the way back to the trunk, follow me to the other side. Welcome to the other side. One clip, two clip, three clip, four clip, and then this is also off. So the coolest thing about this car which everyone already knows about Jeep Wranglers, is the way they handle off-road. So these are very capable off-roaders. Um, they're meant to be driven off-road. 
This particular car comes with the trail rated suspension package. Um, I didn't actually get a chance to, to drive it off-road, but the trail rated package is supremely capable off-road. I'll see if, if I could find any clips. I'll put them in the video here, maybe maybe link them below, of people going off-road in the Wrangler, but it, it is super capable. Um, and you also get a transfer case shifter to go from two-wheel drive high, four-wheel drive high, or four-wheel drive low. Um, which is, it's nice to have an actual physical lever for that as opposed to like an electronic switch that's in some of the newer SUVs. But the coolest thing about this car and the reason why people buy this car is because of the off-road capabilities. Okay, my last point to show how cool this car is and probably the second reason or maybe even the first reason for some people as to why they buy this car is because of how cool it looks not just on the outside but also on the inside the inside of this car honestly i love the way it looks it's super upright you feel like you're sitting in a truck everything feels sturdy and and, and looks sturdy um you have a, a great uconnect system in the middle which honestly i didn't expect would be this nice for for a jeep but it has a nice large i think it's 8.4 inch touchscreen you have carplay you have all these um apps that are built in by jeep a really cool app is the Off-Road Pages app, which shows you the pitch of the car, the roll of the car when you're when you're off-roading, which is super convenient. You also get nice chunky chunky buttons and a chunky gear shifter, and just the way this car looks on the inside is very cool, especially when you take the roof off. Super cool. Speaking of the outside, the outside is also very very cool. This car is painted in this bright blue color. It gets a lot of attention. Uh, my favorite part of this car has to be the front. With, uh, with the turn indicators on the side and then some fog lights below that. And then the big, obviously the big two circle Jeep lights and the seven, the seven slot grill. I think it's a super iconic look. It looks cool. Everyone thinks it looks cool. The back looks cool. It looks cool with the roof off. Overall, inside and outside, like this is just a, it's just a cool looking car. No doubt. Like I said at the beginning of this video, there are a couple of things with this car that may not be so cool for, for certain people. The first thing, fuel economy. So I have the fuel economy figures here for the Jeep Wrangler. Okay, so as you can see on my screen here, for the JL generation, which started in 2018 and up, it's around 17, 18 miles per gallon mixed, which is an improvement over the previous generation, but also, not the best. If you're if you're buying this for like an efficient family SUV because this is the unlimited with four doors and fuel economy is what you're going after, that's not really what you're going to get. But if you're buying this for fuel economy, it's a Jeep. It's an off-roader. Um, so yeah, the fuel economy is not so cool. But again, it doesn't matter because that's not what this car is meant for. What's not cool is interior refinement to some people. If you're coming into this car expecting a refined interior like a BMW X5 or, or even like a Hyundai Santa Fe, that's not what you're getting. You're, you're getting a Jeep. You're going to get a rough, rugged interior. So if, if you want like nice panel gaps and stuff, then you might think that this interior is not cool. Personally, I, I enjoy this interior. It adds to the overall appeal and charm of the car, but I could see how some people might not think it's, it's, it's good. All right, let's go for a quick drive and just briefly talk about on-road on -road driving dynamics. Now, does this car handle well on-road? The answer is no. It's a great off-roader. It handles terrifically when you're going off-roading or even when you're on a little dirt path, like that's all I've done. But on-road compared to similar SUVs in this price class, it's not as refined. I mean, it wobbles a little bit. A little bit of a dead spot in the middle but you know what none of that really matters because you're not buying this car to be a comfortable everyday cruiser you're buying this car for something that has immense off-road capabilities so while it may not be the most refined on-road driving experience a little bumpy a little loud all of that can be forgiven because of what it could do off-road and honestly for me because of how cool it looks all right so what do we think of the Jeep Wrangler? I told you at the beginning, it's a cool car. I told you five cool things and three things that aren't so cool. So that nets out to a positive cool factor of two points. So is this car cool? Yes. For $45,000 in the Canadian marketplace, this has to be one of the coolest cars that you could buy for you and your family that 
can also take off-road. Looks super nice. It performs well. Fuel economy refinement, eh, that's not what you're buying this car for. You're buying this car to look cool and to be very capable. So, yes, I love it. I love it. It's cool. Uh, stay tuned. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you have any thoughts on the Jeep Wrangler, if you think it's a terrible off-roader, or if you think it's the best car ever made, leave it in the comments below. And uh, I'll catch you next time. We're done. We're done.